Hello everybody and welcome back to the workshop for this week's Tech Tip from Spectrum. I am Gary Katzer with Spectrum and Horizon Hobby and we are here today to talk to you about one of the coolest innovations in the world of RC cars and trucks in recent years. I'm of course talking about AVC or Active Vehicle Control. The cool thing about AVC is you get to kind of control exactly how much assistance and control AVC has with your model. Now say that you've got you know one of the cool rally cars here from Viterra or the Ford Raptor pre-runner truck from Viterra too or even the open stock receiver too that you've installed into another vehicle. Uh, first of all with the ready to runs that include AVC you should all be familiar with this. This is the Spectrum DX2E transmitter. Great radio that comes with the ready to runs and to control the amount of AVC or active vehicle control you have this knob here on the side of your radio. If you turn it fully clockwise that will give you maximum AVC or active vehicle control. If you turn it fully counterclockwise, you've essentially disabled AVC and you are in full control now. Now, a cool thing with AVC is with the new generation of four channel computerized radios from Spectrum such as the DX4S, the DX4C, or the DX4R Pro, you can really fine tune the amount of active vehicle control in your vehicle as you are out driving. We're going to walk you through the different screens and talk to you right now about the way the technology works. There's a couple different tuning options that you have with the computerized radios. One is your gain, and this is basically how aggressive AVC will be. You can adjust the gain on steering, and you can adjust the gain on throttle. In addition to the gain, you also have what's called priority. And priority basically is the priority of the system over your inputs. So for example, let's look at this graphic here. At 0% priority, AVC is fully functional throughout your entire throttle and steering curve. Whether you turn your wheel 1% or 100% or grip the trigger 1% or 100%, AVC will work linearly across the entire steering or throttle curve. Next up, let's say that you set your steering or throttle priority to 75%. That's the graphic that we have here. As you can see, the angles are a whole lot closer now than what they were at 0%. However, AVC is still active throughout the entire steering and throttle curve. Finally, at 100% priority, when you get to 100% steering or throttle throw, you now have full control of your model. AVC will not be operational at full lock left, full lock right, or full throttle, or full brake. You are in control. So basically, you are taking priority away from the active vehicle control system. Now, in addition to that, you have, basically the system is infinitely adjustable. There isn't a point that you can dial the system in where before you reach full lock, left or right, or full trigger, full brake, that you can basically disable AVC. So, there's no way to set it up where it's 75% of wheel throw or trigger movement that AVC is disabled. It's basically would just disable it at full lock or full trigger movement. So here we're going to show you what the actual AVC screens look like and how to adjust them. We're going to start here today with the DX4C. Now one thing of note, while I mentioned the DX4C, DX4R Pro, and DX4S, these are the radios that have the most updated and usable screens for you to make it super easy to use AVC. Yes, you can use a DX3C, 3S, and 3R Pro. However, you don't have all these same screens for fine tuning. So you won't have the priority or the gain adjustments in here. You'll basically have to do everything via mixing. This is a whole lot easier and these tuning tips are designed for these radios here in particular. So we'll turn on our DX4C and this radio I've actually used with my daughter's uh, short course truck where we do have the AVC active on here. So scroll down here until we get to AVC push your scroll selector in and at this point you have a number of options you know you can make the state either active or inhibited so if you do have it on inhibited this is what the screen would look like if you activate it that will give you all your your different tuning options right here here's your steering gain adjustment on here 
and you can basically assign how you want to adjust that on the fly if you would like to. Here's your throttle gain. Now this will again change the gain just on your throttle. So this is how you can independently adjust your throttle and your steering. This is why I say that you want to use the four channel radios versus the threes. And same thing, you can adjust what switch, basically turn, uh, adjust that. Priority, this is what we're talking about here is your priority. I have it set to zero, which means that it's linear across the entire steering and throttle throw. So if I turn it just a little bit or a lot, or if I squeeze the trigger just a little bit or a lot, it will have the same AVC input across the entire uh, range of motion on here. So that's your AVC screen here on the DX4C. And again, great radio. I really highly recommend it if you're on a budget. Next up is going to be the Spectrum DX4S transmitter. And one thing that we're going to show you on this one too is my version of the DX4S actually doesn't have the software on it. So we're going to walk you through the software update real quick too. I've already gone to the Spectrum community page and downloaded the software onto a standard SD card. To update your transmitter, all that you need to do is pull off your grip and your SD card slot is right here on the handle. Pop your card in and looks like the contacts face the front of the radio. I'll angle that up and we'll power this on for you so you can see how it works. And there you see the Spectrum logo co comes up. You've got your status bar and you just watch it do its thing. That's all there is to the software updates. Super easy to do. Do not power your radio off before it is complete. Once the update has finished applying, it'll power cycle real quick and come up to uh, your home screen at this point. We're going to take the card out. I'll wait till later to throw the grip back on though, just so we can show you everything. So now one thing of importance is, does this wipe your memory? And we'll go down here. No, I still have my model memory is still in here. So that's cool. So I'm gonna go to just number three, an open slot. Now I'm gonna go down here and there is our AVC screen. Again, here you can adjust your steering gain up or down. There's your throttle gain up and down. And here's your priority adjustment. Again, 100% will basically disable AVC when you are at full lock left or full lock right, or full trigger or full brake. And then you can adjust it infinitely, uh, basically from zero to 100 from within there. So those are the AVC screens on the DX4S. Finally, we have the DX4R Pro. And this one again, did not have the software out of the box. I have applied the update to take care of that. So power it up. And let's see, where are my late models? So we're gonna go down to the screen, AVC. And at this point it's inhibited, but again, I can Activate it. There's my steering gain, throttle gain, steering priority. So very similar to what the 4S and the 4C have, just a slightly different look on the layout. Very easy to use, very intuitive. And here's the big thing. Play around with these settings as much as you would like. You're not going to hurt anything. In fact, you're going to learn something by playing around with these settings. We hope this has helped answer some of your questions that you may have on AVC. We understand with any new technology, you can have just, there's a learning curve involved with it. But AVC, the more you use it, the more you play around with it, the more use that you're going to get out of it, the more you'll learn, and the more you're going to have fun. Now, if you do have any comments or questions about anything that you've seen here today, regarding AVC or anything RC in general, by all means, please feel free to visit us on our Facebook pages. We're at facebook.com slash spectrum RC. We're also on facebook.com slash horizon hobby. You can also email us at editors at horizonrc.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.